Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back here to my YouTube channel as we are getting close to the release of NHL 22 and I won't lie I really haven't been keeping in touch with the information coming out all I really know about is there's like this X factor thing that they brought over from the NFL games and I haven't heard anything about franchise mode, which is my bread and butter. Uh, still trying to win San Jose a Stanley Cup. If you haven't checked that out already, consider doing that. Also on the road to 2,000 subscribers, consider joining the three thumbs up community. We would love to have you. And uh, if Owen in the future figures out how to do green screen, this is gonna be this is gonna be a first <laughs> on this channel. My hair's rough. I haven't had a haircut in like a year, so here we are, NHL 22 trailer. Uh, let me let me pull up my phone. Let's see let's see what this is all about because I I've seen some screenshots on Twitter, and all I'll say is I'm not really impressed. But here we go. Let's throw it on. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to NHL, NHL 22, 22, baby. The first NHL game built on the Frostbite, Frostbite engine, engine and powered by mm -hmm. next generation consoles, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series no X. No crossplay though. And S. With the introduction of Superstar X Factors, the Frostbite engine, augmented reality UI, enhanced stick physics, and much more, the NHL franchise is delivering not only the best gameplay, but the best looking game to date. This is Breakthrough Hockey. For the first time I'm ever, worried. the Frostbite engine comes to the NHL wow, franchise, bringing massive games. aesthetic upgrades That's cool. to both current and next generation consoles. With breakthrough visual detail in every hit, deep, and shot, improvements can be found uh, on a macro and Can we just get to the gameplay level, footage? Including atmosphere, such I as I doubt flares this is actually what it looks like. We've I doubt that. I'm betting money that it's not like so that. Even so far as to enhance the detail and eye movement and facial expressions that react to the changing environment facial expressions but can they do the face scans that, right this year enhancements uh, on both player well, I guess we'll and see. environments have been ramped up giving both unique character and authenticity it looks pretty this also includes micro details until we uniforms, see gameplay higher resolution ice and 3d ice spray that interacts with the environment and can even spray on the camera during replays lastly the physically based dynamic lighting system powered by the frostbite engine unifies all elements within mm -hmm. the game now, mm -hmm. materials like cloth, Get to the, I don't care. and helmets I don't care. react realistically I don't care. to light. Metal shines like metal. metal. Shines like metal. Wow, EA, thank you so footage, much! Depending on the amount of stress caused by the action on the ice. With all these upgrades, NHL 22 makes every rink look and feel like the real deal, including a certain arena that will be hosting its first ever NHL contest this Seattle. upcoming season. Uh, those Super Seattle Star jerseys are is delicious. Game changing gameplay advancement. Inspired by the unique See, but nobody asks like NHL's best for like that allows X Factor. You to I haven't seen that once. <laughs> elevate the stars of the Give sport us X Factor. Like it's always been a goal of ours to differentiate star players from the rest of the league. And then the do badges. It's feel the special 2K's got it down pat. NBA, NBA like, like badges players. to separate the good from the great. Categories. Shooting, skating, passing, hockey IQ, defense, and goaltending. The game features 29 different Superstar X Factor abilities assigned to players in two tiers. Premier Zone abilities and Secondary Superstar abilities. So whether this it's might Matthews, be Patton, I'll Joe give it a Register, chance, obviously, Seth X Factor, any to but... Or fast I, I don't, I don't know if it's like needed. You'll be able to if it's sort of like a badge system, I get it. But use them to gain an edge oh, that's going to be. <laughs> Superstar X Factors. Ooh, Ooh that does not look pretty. That does not look good. Strategy, that's actual game. That looks like straight up NHL. How does NHL 14 look better than this? What is that? Speaking of authenticity, we are now doing more with the stick physics to realistically simulate stick on stick and stick on body collisions. The, the, the ice end results looks are more accurately horrific. represented puck battles on both offense what is this? and defense. For it instance, sort of looks attacking good, players but, are now able to protect uh, against a defender's stick and drive to the net with force. More yeah, outcomes I'm not are a, dictated I'm not by a fan. proper body positioning, which decides whether stick interactions get driven through what or lead to penalty like calls. The, Our new augmented like reality the player models broadcast look system good, animates on top of the action in real time throughout the game, but everything else does not look good in gameplay. Like, to give I guess you an the players look It looks impact. a lot like NHL 14. I, like, 
I don't know what it, exceptional I don't highlight real know moment occurs, what it is exactly. Graphics will appear over your player, letting you but it looks against your opponent about that much more. Also, seven years the system old. injects information <laughs> like NHL 14. Helping you manage your but strategy close, in real time fine. without having to exit the game. These it augmented, just... hyper real moments elevate the broadcast quality, giving a modern, sleek look to gameplay, all while improving game flow speed up to as much as 50%. Uh, just... From visual improvements, play I don't know what it is. We I don't really. Like, X Factor is cool and all. I get that. The Frostbite just... engine. Superstar X Factors and augmented reality graphics are set to deliver the greatest league like it look okay I don't know seen. what it is it looks is cool in like the cinematics and everything but the moment you do the overhead view I just I don't know what it is and that's they really didn't show a whole lot of gameplay for a gameplay trailer more just close shots in the penalty box celebrations I I get that that's cool I just I'm not I'm not too sure X Factor is what the gameplay needed. You gotta, like, I don't know. Because I didn't do a whole lot of gameplay this year, and I'm like, I was fine with the gameplay the last couple of years. I know it's a huge issue for people that do Hut and do World of Chell, all that jazz. I did franchise mode, and I only saw gameplay when I did, like, Overtime and, <laughs> and be a pro, so... I, I'm okay. I'll give it a, obviously give it a chance, just like we did Fog of War. And what did they do last year that was new? Like the trade deadline, and that was broken. Uh, and the year before that, coaches. Coaches are fine. I just feel like they're not as important. It just, I don't know. I'm not sure if it has any factor. It should, with, you know, in regular season simulation, but. I'm just waiting for franchise mode. That's my bread and butter, as I said before. I'm... I guess it was a gameplay trailer when they showed probably less than a minute of actual, like, legit gameplay overhead. What do they call that? Like, dynamic high, dynamic medium camera view. It just didn't look good. It... I... I'm not sure what exactly it is, but it looks off. It looks... more cartoonish. Like, the ice and everything around it looks worse overhead. I'm sure it doesn't look that bad. I'm not impressed, though. And I know everybody wanted the Frostbite engine, and I wasn't really... I don't really mind. As long as franchise mode is better. Can you fix goalies this year? I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm not disappointed, but I'm also... I will be, obviously. It's EA. Duh. Why well, are you going to be such a Debbie Downer, Owen? When I'm looking at the X-Factor edition on my PS4 right now for pre-order, $130. Yeah, you get three-day early access and up to 10 hut choice packs and a lot of hut stuff and some X-Factor slots. And it just... You're telling me it's $50 more than just the standard edition? Obviously... I gotta get the three-day access, uh, early access, because, you know, <laughs> but I guess I'm not disappointed, but I'm also not, yay, this is great!